Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It has been ages, literally ages. Um, and I have so much that I owe you between like our birth vlog and answering all your questions. But over the next few weeks, you will be getting vlogs up until the run up of our wedding. So that's very fun. And um, if you have any questions, submit them, tag us. And I thought I would do this video sort of asking Henry a few questions about our relationship um, and about us and the wedding and get you guys a little bit of an introduction to him. And yeah, I am excited to be back. Um, I definitely plan on doing more YouTube again. I miss it we are moving house which will allow us to have more space and therefore me to have an actual place to just sit and vlog um but also our daughter's a little bit older and that gives me a little bit more time and oh what a crazy wild ride so yeah ah, we're getting married october um end of october and this is gonna be quite an adventure and we're gonna take you along for it so um, I'm very excited and I feel like I had like a really nice opening to this but anyway if you guys are excited if you guys like the videos I've done before about uh, wellness mental health um, then you know keep on watching and if you like wedding stuff and you want to follow along for this and our new home and baby and life and everything else in between because this will all be coming onto the channel um hit subscribe like this video and keep let's keep on going um i'm also gonna start adding some more fashion and makeup stuff again and yeah here we go <laughs> all right i'm gonna flip it over to me asking henry some questions over lunch and um also this is my engagement ring if you have not seen it on Instagram and such. It is called a target ring. Um, so it has diamonds, sapphires, and emeralds, which is mine and Rose's birthstone. So over the next few weeks until the wedding, you will get one vlog a week minimum. And yeah, let's start. Are you ready? Back to builders is like, can you fuck off today? Do you know what I mean? Mic drop. <laughs> Mic drop. We're not gonna drop the mics. We need mics. Right, Henry. Yeah. Are you excited for our wedding? Very. Are you excited for our wedding vlog? Less. Because you don't like being on camera. Uh, I don't not enjoy it. I'm indifferent. All right. Did you date much before you met me? I literally just looked up questions on the internet to see like what would be a good questions to ask you for our wedding vlog. Yeah, uh, yeah quite a bit. <laughs> As in, did we date a lot? No, or did, did you I date, date before me? Yeah, quite a bit, you know. <laughs> you had to cancel two dates because of, you cancelled dates with two people yeah, when we met. when I found you. you got to slay a lot of dragons before you get to the princess. That's not... Like, you can't call women dragons, it's not like... Yeah, you got to slay a lot of unicorns before you get to the princess unicorn. Okay, that's sweeter, I guess. Um, did online dating... Did you use online dating or apps? Yes, all of them. Are you joking? That's weird. Yeah, I did, yeah. I feel like you do well on them, though, because you just show pictures of your apps and be like, eh. Hey. No, only one picture of my apps. Actually, that's true. You had a picture of you like cuddling a tiger or something. You were one of those. I've never cuddled a tiger in my life. What is the picture of you on your WhatsApp? Um, oh, me with a kangaroo. Oh, I thought it was a tiger or a lion or something. No, it's a kangaroo. Why is it laying down? Because uh, I think I didn't want to get too close to it, so I sort of laid down and like stretched to try and feed it, but actually there. So you're a baby. Perfectly you're friendly. A Where do you think is a great place to meet women? Why is it that this is all about your single life? There is a great place to meet women. Well, apparently Dating White City apps. House. <laughs> <laughs> apparently it's Soho Houses. 
I would say... It's awesome where Megan and Harry met, you know? Yeah, obviously, Soho House Bars. Apparently. I don't really know, I don't think there is a good place. Or There are but definitely a lot of bad don't. places. Yeah, I was going to say that's not very helpful. Not, this is a wedding vlog, I don't know why this question was on suggested questions. No. It's not really about it. I don't know. I haven't needed to meet a woman in a long time. Qualities did you tell your friends you were looking for when you were single? Um, someone mature who can hold a conversation, who is adventurous. I only have two of those, one of those qualities. <laughs> adventurous. Adventurous. <laughs> Horrible ADHD. Dating advice would you give your daughter? Don't. I don't know why this is all. Don't. Don't date. That at White City House, and we were both 29 when we met. So um, that was an easy question that I could answer for you. But did either of us play hard to get? Yes. Yes. Oh, really? Yeah, me initially, because you approached me and then I swam away from you. No, I said. Nice tattoo, we were in a pool, I didn't swim through the air. I we said, were in a pool. nice tattoo, you nerd. You didn't say that, don't try and pretend I to said, be cool. No, I said, were you at the Olympics or did you just get really drunk? You... I thought maybe you were just an enthusiast. Anyway, so I play hard to get because I swam away. And then I asked you later on, I asked you on a date and you kept trying to cancel the date. So I suppose that was you. I don't know if you were playing hard to get or more just nervous about the date. And, yeah, I just wasn't ready to date. I didn't I didn't want to date yet. But anyway, so me a bit, then you a bit, then neither of us. Did you know I was the one right away? Yeah, I think I was pretty sure that you could be the one. <laughs> wow, this is lovely. Thank you. As in you excited me. From like the first time I saw you in our first conversation, I was very excited about the potential. Did you have meet a lot of people that you thought could be the one before me? No, no. I would say all of the rest of my dating experience would be. I'm not really sure about this one, but I'll see where it goes on the date. So this was the first time you met someone where you were like, "Yeah, this could be it." Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll take that. Holidays did you love about me when we first started dating? Um, definitely your sense to like explore and adventure and get out of our comfort zones and go and do things. Yeah, um, that never died, did it? No, that excited me because um, I'm definitely all for that. And like you're a bit of a dreamer as well. Yeah. Like you like to sort of dream big and plan big which I also like, keeps life exciting. Did you have a timeline for marriage in your mind before like getting engaged and getting married? No, but probably not as quickly as we did it. But I also am aware that- Yeah, but we almost got married when I was pregnant as well. Like we thought about getting engaged. Well, yeah, having a baby sort of changes things and you evaluate your relationship probably sooner than you would need to in other circumstances and that doesn't mean that I like rushed into the decision it's just I came to those decisions more quickly and I evaluated, I evaluated. our relationship and life a little bit sooner than I probably would have um, but yeah I always thought that when I was younger I always thought like 30 was a good time to like have a kid and stuff so Excuse pretty you, much sir. pretty much nailed that yeah we did nail that <laughs> Um, no, we will be 31 when we get married, not 30, but we do have a kid at 30. Yeah. The question is, did, were you nudged or did it happen on its own to get married or get engaged? Yeah. Definitely nudged. Yeah. But not at like, it was more just like, what are we doing? Because we have a child and we're, I didn't want to buy a house before getting married because of money, I get very afraid of money commitments. Well, yeah, I think I was a bit more like, it's cool. Like, we love each other. It'll happen when it happens and when we're like, you know. I'm all about Financially like, secure and Yeah, but I'm all about stable. drafting con contracts. I was like, well, if we don't, then we need to put a contract in for like our home percentage. And if so and our child. 
Did your parents influence the kind of marriage you wanted? No. No. <laughs> I mean, both our parents are divorced. Yeah, Yours so multiple I, times, so I think. Yeah, so I think it's like. If they were to do that, they'd to be try pretty not hypocritical. To do some of those things. <laughs> to try to maybe communicate better. <laughs> I mean, yeah, not directly, but they probably did influence who we are with and why we are with those people. I would say we're probably more like developed because of seeing things that our parents have gone through. Yeah, of course. Um, we have to go soon, but what elements of the wedding really matter to you? Uh, how we look, the food. How we look. Yeah, we've got to look good, especially like, you're supposed to look like the best you've ever looked. Well, okay, yeah. I think that only really matters because those pictures are meant to be for life. Yeah. Um, the food. And then just that everyone has a good time and people aren't there just because it's a wedding and they're ticking a box. Like, I want people to remember it as like a really good, fun time. What are you most excited about for our wedding other than getting married? Like, being married? Um... I think just having the people most important to you all in the same place at once, because that doesn't really happen that often. Um, from every sort of family group, close friends group, your friends, my friends, having that range of really close people with you celebrating us is quite cool. Yeah, it's quite nice, isn't it? I'm excited. I want, well, whatever, I'll answer these questions. You can be on the other side. Say the first year of marriage is hardest. Do you think that we'll have like a tough first year? I feel we've like had, we've already been married. Yeah, we, our last like six months has been pretty tough with. We have a baby, we're buying a moving house. Moving in together before we were probably ready, having a baby. No, we, did, well, we, we didn't really move ready. in together. We waited until she was born to move in together. So we didn't. Yeah, moving house together, raising a child, sleep deprivation, pandemic. Pandemic. Um, <laughs> Olympic disappointment for me, trying to get a visa for you. Yeah, that was, that like was a stressful time. Planning a wedding. It? I would say just getting used then to Then trying other. to move again. So I think we've had a pretty... I can't imagine it being, being harder than the last sort of 16 months. Yeah, what 18 months. What advice would you give so far to other couples planning their wedding? Um, make time make time to sit down and talk about it together don't just expect it to sort of happen in your spare time um, actually plan to sit down and do it together and split up jobs and take an interest Double guys probably more than girls i think i was definitely interested all the way through but i think you're a lot more particular with some of the things you want than I am. Um, no, I think you just thought those things would like happen, but I was like, no, we no, need to rent plates. Well, <laughs> we don't have plates. But there's a lot of jobs on the list, for example, that I'm like style-wise, I'm not that concerned. So effectively, if I was doing those jobs, I'd have to keep coming back to you, being like, what do you think of this? What do you think of this? What do you think? Of yes, when it would actually just be ten times quicker if you just do it. Yeah, true. Um, yeah, we sat down and sort of talked about aesthetics like first, so then. Yeah. We I both mean, sort of knew what I we have were ideas with. and I know what I like, but sometimes I come back to you and you go, like, that's disgusting. And then I'm You like, have picked some foul. You, you picking a dress for Rosie was foul, like, yeah, honestly. Yeah, and I just wanted to look cute, so. It wasn't cute, it was really. It. But then I've wasted. She looked like she was going to be on, like, a child's pageant. Yeah, it. and I wasted two hours looking for a dress. And actually, you didn't like any of it, so you should have just done it, and you've probably done it in 15 minutes. No, I haven't done it in 15 minutes. It, that's been my hold up. I haven't. It's been hard to get. Anyway, Identifying strengths. We need to go to yoga because it's in six minutes, and luckily we just a walk away. Well, this is nice. Say ciao. Ciao.